Well, we're continuing to watch the impact of that frontal boundary on satellite radar as the clouds and what's left of the moisture continue to get pushed to our south and a little further out into the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, the Futurecast thinks that's going to continue through the afternoon with those clouds continuing to dissipate and that dry line taking uh, everything to our south. Maybe a few high clouds will try to wander on back by the day tomorrow, but not much more than that. Our highs today looking good, generally in the lower 90s to the western part of the valley, uh, upper 80s for the east, and with the lower humidity that's going to start to arrive as we head through the afternoon, those temperatures really shouldn't feel all that bad, so enjoy the sunshine. Out in the tropics, we're continuing to watch this area that it seems like we've been watching forever now, with a pretty good chance of developing as it heads into the uh, mid-Atlantic but on this map, notice over here we have Hurricane Helene, and then up here, something new. That would be Tropical Storm Isaac. Kind of surprised us, uh, developing rather quickly overnight last night into a tropical storm, and is expected to head on off towards the east and really not bother anybody as it becomes a minimal hurricane in the back to a tropical storm. Nothing but uh, fish and shipping going on in that neck of the woods. Meanwhile, in the Gulf of Mexico, all eyes are on Helene, currently 105 mile per hour winds, so making it a category two hurricane. Surge already starting to impact some areas of the western coast of Florida and could be 50 to 20 feet in through this area on up into the Big Bend area. And it is the uh, surge that tends and flooding that tends to cause the most deaths with hurricanes. 120 mile per hour winds, category three before making landfall, maybe strengthening a little bit more than that before making landfall. Six to 12 inches of rain anywhere in Florida, all the way up into the southeastern United States as what's left of Helene begins to get wrapped into another storm system and just continues to rain itself out. So we're not going to get rid of Helene anytime soon. For the valley, though, we're looking really nice with temperatures uh, hanging into the upper 80s, lower 90s for highs today. Tonight, mostly clear skies. 60s, can you believe it, for our lows tonight? Upper 60s, back to close to 90 degrees for highs tomorrow with mostly sunny skies expected. And if you're heading to the beach, yeah, not really good. Uh, surface five to seven feet, dangerous rip currents. So even the bay is gonna be a little on the rough side today. The bay will smooth out a little bit tomorrow, I think. Here's how the next seven days are stacking up for us. We'll remain actually pretty pleasant for the next couple of days. On into your weekend with the drier air in place, keeping humidity levels relatively low over the next two or three days. And then think about an isolated shower around about Monday and for our game of the week Friday. Looking really good for kickoff with plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the upper 80s.